Hi everyone, I am Balaji Chipada and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how you can install MySQL onto your machines, either it could be Windows machine or Mac machine. So without any delay, let's get started. So let's go to any browser preference of your choice. I'm using Brave browser and inside this type MySQL and enter and you will see this first link. Go to this link MySQL and inside it you can read about mysql all of these things in detail if you want but i will be explaining them in the later videos so go to the download section and here at the bottom if you scroll you can see mysql community gpl downloads and then here you can see a bunch of uh, download links first i would like you to go and download this mysql community server here you can choose the operating system if you are using Windows, you can choose Microsoft Windows or if you are using Macbook, you can use Mac OS. If you are choosing uh, Ubuntu or Linux, you can go with Ubuntu or Linux as well. Right now, I am on Mac OS, so I am using Mac OS. And here, I am choosing ARM. ARM is basically for the in Macbook chips like Silicon Apple, Silicon M1, M2, M3. And if you are running Mac OS on an Intel based chip, then you have to go and choose with x86. So I am going with the ARM. And here I have multiple types of downloads. I will go and download this DMG archive. Click on download. And here there are two options. Either you can log in or sign up for a free download. Or you can also say no thanks just start my download. Click on this one. I don't want to create an account right now. Wherever folder you want you can just go and download this. Here it is downloading right now. And in the meantime that it is downloading. I want you to go back to this page. Go back again and also download mysql workbench click on this one and choose the version i am again choosing arm because i am on apple silicon macbook and i will just download this dmg archive click on download and i will just download this as well and click on it so right now i am downloading my sql uh, as well and the sql workbench as well so workbench is basically an ui to deal with the sql i will explain that in a minute so I have both of these downloaded. So first uh, what I would do is I would install MySQL. Double click on the DMG file. And you can double click on this. And you will get this pop up. You can just allow this. And click on continue. Again continue. Click on agree. And then install for all users of this computer. Click on continue. And you can click continue as well. It will ask you for the password. Please enter system password. And I am installing the software right now. And here there are two options. You can use a uh, strong password encryption or you can just use legacy password encryption. It's up to you. I am using strong password encryption. By default it is enabled. Click on next. And then you need to enter a password here. And you need to remember this password because every time you are opening and working on SQL it will ask you to enter this password. So here I am giving my password and click on finish and it will ask you for the password again for system password. I am entering my system password and that's it guys. You have successfully installed MySQL onto your Mac machine. Now to interact with the SQL you need some software called workbench as well. So now let's install workbench. Click on the workbench and it will get you this pop up. So what you need to do is you need to drag and drop this into your applications. And it is currently copying this application uh, this workbench to my applications. It will take around 5 to 10 seconds. And it is done now. So once it is installed, now what you can do is you can press command space and check for MySQL. And you will get this pop up MySQL workbench.app. Click on this. Click on open. Now you will get to see this page. Okay. Here. Uh, you can see that uh, there is this thing called local instance by default it is there you can right click and edit connection properties so right now i am not going to change any of these connections and i can just test, test the connection if i want to test it uh, i will have to enter the password that i set here 
and click on ok uh, connection warning continue anyway successfully made the mysql connection that means connection has been successful you can close this now you can create one more instance if you want by having all these details but right now i'm not creating one more instance you can give the connection name whatever you want so i'm just opening the instance that is already present double click on it and it will give you a warning and you can click on continue anyway and that's it guys you have successfully installed mysql onto your mac machine here i can write my sql query let's say select abs of minus 3.2 let's say and let me execute this by clicking on this one and i get a value of 3.2 that means i am able to do my uh, sql statements onto this workbench and if you click on schemas here i get to see what all the databases that i have let's say i want to create a database create database uh, test database test db let's say like this and let me execute this and if you see here it got executed successfully without any issues and if i refresh this here i get to see my test database right now i haven't added any tables inside this database that is why i'm not able to see the tables but you will understand all of these things in detail in the later videos and with this you have successfully installed mysql and the workbench onto your mac machine now we will understand how you can install the same using a windows machine as now open any browser of your choice on your windows machine and type mysql and open the first link that you see from mysql click on downloads button on the top scroll down and you can see a last option mysql connectivity and here click on mysql community server you choose microsoft windows and click on the msi installer download option and at the bottom you can click on no thanks just start my download and right now you are downloading the mysql software now while it is being downloaded i want you to go back on this web page and go back again now click on mysql workbench and scroll down click on option button download and click on no thanks just start my download now you are also downloading my sql workbench option as well once both of them are downloaded click on my sql not on the workbench double click on it click next and then agree and then click on next and then choose typical click on install it is now currently installed on your machine click on finish it will automatically open mysql configurator like this and click on next click on next and then click on next again and then you have to choose a password here this is the password that you have to remember and it will be asked when you are opening your sql workbench later on click on next and then click on next and then next click on next and then click on execute button it will execute all of those uh, commands on the top wait for it to install all of those things and once it is done click on next and then finish now you can open mysql workbench on your application tab or else it will automatically open as well click on next now you are trying to install workbench double click on open next next install now you are installing the workbench on your machine initially you have installed mysql now we are installing workbench wait for it the installation to complete on this page click on finish now it will automatically open my mysql workbench 
वेट फॉर इट टू ओपन ओके इट गॉट ओपन हियर यू कैन सी द लॉकर इंस्टेंस डबल क्लिक ऑन इट इट विल आस्क यू टू एंटर पासवर्ड एंटर एंड देन कंटिन्यू एनी वे and there you have it you have successfully installed mysql and workbench onto your windows machine you can execute these two commands to check whether it is working fine or not i am just creating an empty database here click on execute and you can refresh the database on the top right corner and i can see the test database got created and at the bottom you can see the administrator password as well and then schemas as well That's it guys you have successfully installed MySQL and Workbench onto your Windows machine And that's it guys in this video you have learned how to install MySQL and Workbench onto your Mac machine or Windows machine Now that we have installed MySQL in the coming videos we will understand how you can create databases how you can create tables inside those and all the details about sql one by one so that's it for this video if you are liking what you are watching please do subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified daily and we will meet in the next video peace out